I was a ball girl at the Australian Open. In 2003 and 2004, I worked for Tennis Victoria as a volunteer in their tent. Uh, an umpire came into the tent. I was interested to see what their job was about. And uh, yeah, I got the contact details, moved to Melbourne the following year for university. Thought it was a good part-time job, bit of a hobby while I was at university. And obviously a good summer job during January being at the Australian Open. Oh, well, I love tennis. I've played for 14 years myself. Um, I love the, love the sport, love the competition. I like, I like the pressure up in the chair. Love 30. Look confident, have a good presence in the chair. Um, obviously got to see the ball reasonably well um, and know the rules. I'd read the rule book uh, two or three times a year. Every time you read it you learn something new, there's just so much in there. I've just got back from Europe for three and a half months in Europe. I umpired eight weeks over there. Um, I'm doing a lot of the pro circuit events in the second half of this year. And obviously in January we do the Australian Open lead up events, the Australian Open and then the challenger events that follow that. Concentration, I would say, sitting out there in the sun for up to, well today we had a match for four hours, so maybe up to four hours sitting out in the sun, uh, concentrating. We don't have any line umpires out there, so um, we're calling all the calls, which uh, does get tough. Best of three tie break sets, four balls on court, ball change at 11 and 13. I'm calling all the lines as well as the net. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Any questions? No. No? Good. Heads or tails as well? Heads, That's heads. I'll step off, thanks. Serve? Serve's fine. Okay. Uh, sometimes you have a tough match and you do come off and you want to talk about it with somebody. Um, maybe there was a few different things that happened on court, something out of the ordinary. So sometimes, yeah, you'll come off and you'll have a chat with um, somebody who you trust is knowledgeable with the rules or maybe a higher rank than you. Um, other than that, you can look back and go, did I do things well? Did I not? If a player talks to you, did I explain that well to them? So yeah, do a bit of a review of the match just to improve your own performance. Ladies and gentlemen, this second round match will be best of three tie break sets. To the left of the chair, Alicia Mollick. To the right of the chair, Isabella Holland. I'd probably have to say umpiring Alicia Mollick just then. Um, in her last Australian Open, I was on Rod Laver Arena with her when she lost her um, Vitus over. So yeah, that was uh, pretty special. We sort of was getting towards the end of her career, people thought. So um, yeah, chair umpiring her today, that was, uh, that was pretty special. But with our grading system with the ITF that works in levels, um, I have my white badge, which is sort of the bottom, and then it goes bronze, silver and gold. Gold is the top, the umpires you see on centre court at the Australian Open. Um, you work your way up, you do a school for your white, white badge and your bronze badge. After you get your bronze badge, it works on um, evaluations, feedback, you pretty much get promoted to silver and again to gold. First step, Isabella Holland to serve. Play. Ambition. Um, work my way up in the umpiring ranks and obviously the ultimate goal would be to umpire uh, a chair umpire the women's final at the Australian Open. One minute. Out. Deuce. Love 15. Bolt. Advantage Molly. Bolt. Deuce. Game Molly. 